we uh, we played uh, inside that sandbox, and I and I appreciate uh, your flexibility today. So thank you. And, and this is the tamed down version for what the room could hold. Yes. So, <laughs> so thank you. I learned a lot more about what this room holds. <laughs> down the street and just wanted to know if you wanted to become a member. Bro, do you look at what I look like right now? I don't work at a freaking plant. I can't join your credit union. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't say you were a plant. No, I wanted you to join our credit union. You know, we offer some really great savings accounts, checking accounts, low fees, low loans. Bro, you're wasting my time right now. I'm upstairs watching Honey Boo Boo. They're bobbing for pig's feet and they thought we were bad. Well, listen, you know, uh, great accounts, we have this promotion going on right now, auto loans, uh, low interest rates. Is this something that you'd like to consider? Not really. I mean, I think my cousin Vinny, he belonged to a credit union. He got like a car loan from them. He had some like Christmas account or something. But I got a bank right around the corner. His credit union was in like some basement in a church. <laughs> are you sure you don't want to join our credit union? No, no, because you know another thing? You guys are not up with the technology. You know what this is? This is an iPhone. You know what you can do with an iPhone besides take pictures of yourself for Twitter? <laughs> I could bank from this. I can pay my bills, my shopping expenses. Pretty soon they tell me I'm going to be able to use this as a credit card. There was a race that was going on. There was 30 years of technology that they had to close within 10 years. So from 1942 to 1946, from a handful of dedicated individuals through the Manhattan Project, to over 130,000 people that worked on creating the atomic bomb to change the world. You all have an opportunity to change the world here through credit unions. You know, the grassroots efforts uh, in our economy are so important that we believe, and we want all of you to participate in promoting financial wellness as our message in the marketplace. Here we have the first opportunity with Bank Transfer Day. I know this is not me before I went on Weight Watchers. 
but it was a great splash. And you know, I, I give uh, Kristen Christensen, you know, credit. She was the you know the crazy nut in the room that said, "Hey, come on, let's engage everyone and let's tell them about credit unions. Let's take advantage of the opportunities that banks are, are providing us today." The reality is, she created a, a splash in the marketplace. We were happy to have it, and it was that you know tsunami, that rising tide that lifted all boats. I think we all recognize, though, as an industry. You know, we scrambled. We said, wow, great story. How do we capitalize on this story? You know, I asked myself, you know, what was her purpose? Did she love credit unions or did she hate banks more? What story was she having uh, us portray in the marketplace? What she did do for us, though, was she lifted all the boats with the rising tide. My question to, to all of you is, how do we continue to do that and make it sustainable? When we talk about sustainability and creating a movement, I'm not sure if any of you heard uh, of a movement called Hug It Forward, uh, based out of California. Uh, in 2010, in uh, Upistan, which is uh, on the coastline of uh, Guatemala, there was a hurricane that hit. And during that hurricane, tons of plastic garbage had washed up on the shore. And people lost their homes, children lost their schools. And there was someone from the Peace Corps that was walking down the beach and they saw children taking plastic bottles and taking inorganic materials and putting it in those plastic bottles. So there, were, there was no place to put the garbage. And what they realized is that they were polluting their own environment. And the person from the Peace Corps said, hmm, I have a polluted environment. We need building materials. I can't get building materials here. We need to create schools. And what they did, they created eco-bricks, plastic bottles that, they, that helped them uh, rebuild their towns, their villages. It's a great story. If you have an opportunity, you know, go online, look up Hug It Forward. It's a great story that helps us understand how to create a movement and how to engender passion, ownership, and interest in a movement. And in doing so, that type of experience, I think we're well ahead of the game. You know, the plastic bottle represents our, our products and services. We have fantastic products and services. Just like Ron Johnson from Apple recognized, the products will sell themselves, so I have to create a different experience for the people that walk into an Apple store. So in doing so, his secret was, how do I create relationships? How do I create an experience that no other organization can compete with? We all have that same opportunity in the credit union industry, is to create that experience and create those relationships. And what he did is he challenged people to think differently. And that's my challenge to all of you today, is to think differently and think about how we can connect Main Street credit unions through the message of financial wellness. It's a very, very simple equation. And in doing so, we can perpetuate the innovation, all the innovation that we've seen here over the last two days, and showcase out of that, uh, showcase that innovation out of several locations, I think, in a, uh, in a predominant location that has uh, an opportunity to really transform our industry and transform our message in the marketplace. When you do that, um, you know, we have products that are out there today, like Find a Credit Union, a Smarter Choice, See You Look Up. Um, all great products, they tell our story well. The challenge is how do we get consumers to, to connect with those products, and how do we do it to make it simple? Um, Apple has really laid the groundwork for us uh, as an industry to have to introduce our products in today's marketplace. Simplicity is what the consumer is looking for. And I think we have that opportunity to create that environment and create a billboard location where we can uh, promote these opportunities, promote the innovation that, that's here today. Look outside the credit union industry. You know, uh, I've had conversations with, with Bill and Kuna about what would supplemental capital uh, mean for our industry? What would it mean to go to institutional investors and, and attract outside investment? Even outside investment into the, the innovation and the technologies that, that uh, were shared with us earlier today. In doing so, you need a location to tell your story. So, again, connecting Main Street to financial wellness, make it sustainable, repeatable, and fun. You saw today here we had a little bit of fun and it was very engaging and we should be able to do that all the time with consumers. 
The other thing that I think is so important, and today's, this is a concept strategy, and this is an opportunity for all of you to contribute. Include partners in our message of education, in our sense of community, in our mission-driven purpose. It's, it's what our economy needs today. I think we all recognize that, and we need a platform to be able to speak from. You know, our competitors uh, do it quite well, and, and the way that they deliver that message is through celebrity awareness. You know, who is our spokesperson in, in, in the industry today? Who is the face of credit unions? I know it's a challenging question, but when you look at you know, Regis and, and Kelly, it, it, it resonates with people. So creating consumer awareness uh, through a celebrity environment, I think, is, is key. I also recognize that our challenge, and it's interesting for us, McGraw Hill Federal Credit Union, we're based in New Jersey. Um, we have uh, three branch locations in Manhattan. And every day we see the national media marketplace creating billions of impressions about other things and not so much about credit unions. So how can we amplify our story in the marketplace and engage News Corp, Bloomberg, the New York Times? Well, I'll give you a hint. We need to be there. We need to have a cooperative location that promotes financial wellness, that gets the national media marketplace engaged. If you're not there, this is from a native New Yorker, somebody who was born and raised in the Bronx, and I've been fortunate, I've lost my accent. You're not seen. You have 20 seconds in an ad to make an impression. And if you can't do it in 20 seconds, in a New York minute, they will dismiss you. If you want to be seen in the world's financial marketplace, you need to have a presence. So just having a credit union there, it's not good enough. Having our message in the marketplace, that's what we need. So I want all of you to sh share in the opportunity and this challenge and recognize that what New York City affords us and where our challenges are. You know, CUNY uh, did a survey they said 70% of consumers aged 18 to 24 years of age are unaware of the existence of credit unions. And the rate of unawareness over the past 10 years has gone from 25% to 37%. You were playing off the Manhattan Project and recognizing that you know, we want you to have this sense of urgency. You have an opportunity to control your destiny, and in doing so, creating the Center for Financial Wellness and sharing in the concept, I think there's no better time for us. And I know all of you are committed to your members. And when I look forward and I say, well, what picture do we want to create for ourselves and for our industry is take the opportunity now. It's going to take us some time. Make an impact to ensure that our mission continues. Which picture you want to align yourself with. So the opportunity that you have is right on your desk, right on your tables. In those gray boxes, there's a piece of atomic energy that I'm sharing with all of you today. There's a clock. If you open up those boxes, it's a countdown clock. We need all of you, anyone that wants to participate and share and maybe our crazy idea of financial wellness with Americans is to go to this website, creditunioncountdown.com and just register and let us know that you want to be a part of this process. It's a great opportunity and I want all of you to be my change agents for 2013. Thank you for your time.